Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here with DirtFarmerJay.com. Well, gardening season is here and it's a great time to plant a food plot. And I hope you're gonna do that. But if you do, you need a great drip irrigation. Well, stay tuned and I'll show you an inexpensive PVC do-it-yourself system that'll put the water right where you need it. Stay tuned. All right, so let's go ahead and look at what it takes to build one of these surface mounted systems. I'll get into a little bit of detailed shots in a few moments, but let's just give you an overview. As you can see, this system is surface mounted. It just lays on top of the furrow rows or the hills. Uh, and what I do is I create a basic manifold that is a straight line with a set of T's, except out on the end there's elbows, and I space these three foot apart. That is a great uh, distance, general purpose distance, even with corn. Uh, and by using little stub pipes like this, I can shut off one of the outlets in case I'm going to put in vine crops such or like watermelons, cantaloupe, uh, those kind of things where I don't want too tight a spacing. Uh, this is all this section, as you can see, because of the blue, that manifold is glued together. These are simply press fit in. This is a low pressure system. So other than the manifold and the valve system and that sort of thing, you don't need to glue it together. This is just simply pressed into place. These lines that are teeing off, which have holes in them, which I'll give you more detail in a few minutes, are simply pressed in as well. Let's get a close up here of the supply line. This section right to this valve, or excuse me, this union, is what's left at the end of the season. When I take the system out, what you're gonna have is these will be taken out of the manifold. This part will be lifted off. That's what's left and then I bucket it. There's a stake right here to protect it from tilling. When it comes time to set up again, I set in the manifold without the pipes and then simply screw this all together again. And now it is ready to operate. A standard inline valve like this allows me to regulate the volume uh, and somewhat the pressure because it is a low pressure system. So whatever, the more lines you have and more outlets, the more volume of water you're going to need. And we'll show you this in operation a little bit, but pretty basic. You simply have T's, L's, plugs, couplings that put everything together and it lays on the surface. We'll show it here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and take a look at how you drill the pipes and a tip that I learned to make sure you don't end up with water shooting direction you don't want it to go. Let's take a look. All right, let's talk about the drip sections themselves made out of PVC pipe. Because it is PVC pipe, it's easy to cut either with a handsaw or PVC pipe cutter. I even use my own chop saw sometimes very quickly to cut these pipes. A couple of things I want you to notice very quickly. Number one, you can use in this application the schedule 20 pipe uh, this has a burst strength of around 200 psi as you can see it's a little bit thinner than you may be used to seeing this is the heavier gauge pipe that is most standard used out of schedule 40 and i think it has about 480 psi pressure um, so you can use either one uh, i prefer that i become a fan of this now simply because it's so much lighter uh, and it's less expensive and you don't require high pressure uh, to do this system. All right, when you are going to do this, I want to give credit to one of my friends in the Master Gardener group, Matt Bunkle, presented this idea to our Master Gardeners uh, group uh, a couple of years ago and it's become my go-to way now to surface irrigate garden crops uh, because it only puts the water where you need it, suppresses weeds by starving water out, uh, and is a more efficient use of water. Less water exactly where it's needed is what a good drip system does. But how do you do this with these, um, with these pipes? Well, if you take a close-up shot right here, you can see um, there's a triple set of holes right here. And if we go down the pipe, you'll see another one. These are about 30 inches apart. This particular setup was uh, for zucchinis or for melon crops. So um, you end up with a triple irrigation drip, but in the hills or in bigger spacings. Uh, and so you can make custom pipes like this. 
You can also shorten them up if you're putting them in garden boxes, like we have eight foot garden boxes. So you can modify and you can certainly use half inch pipe if you like as well. All right, so that's one type. Look at here, this one, this is last year's, you can see it hasn't been even cleaned up. These are set at six inch holes right down the line. This is what I use for watering corn. Uh, and Matt Bunkle gave me this idea. Uh, the ones he uses for corn, he just spray painted his yellow, so it's really easy when you store them uh, to get uh, to go out and grab a bundle of them and set them up um, and then get going with it. Now, here's something you need to know. If you just willy-nilly start drilling and uh, after you just measure your lengths or your pitch distance between holes, there's no way you're going to keep that line straight. And what will happen is you'll lay down the pipe and the water will be coming out the side over here, but it'll start coming up higher and higher and now you got water spraying all over. You want the water to kind of cascade out the side of the pipe uh, onto the areas where you want to irrigate or right at the base of the plants. So you've got to get everything in a straight line. How do you do that? Well, here's a fast, easy way to do that. And that is simply grab three pipes at a time, tape them uh, tight like this. When you tape them, it's possible to get them twisted like this, and you don't want to do that. Once you tape them, line this up, sight down and make sure that it's all level then take yourself a marker like this and simply in the joint line draw a line down the side and i draw it so that it goes on both sides so i can mark out two pipes at a time and now i have a line in which to make sure that as long as i drill on that line i'm going to end up with all the holes being the same thing now one of these things you can do, or one of the things that you can do on these pipes, if let's suppose on this one I draw a double line, I can actually drill two sides of the same pipe. And I'll show you that in just a few minutes on my onions because they're a furrow crop spaced four inches apart on a hill about 16 inches apart. So I can irrigate from the same pipe, uh, from the same source pipe, but water coming out both sides. So you can use this system to mark that as well. So that's quick, doesn't create any extra um, setup, and you can just use the material you've got, simple tape and a Sharpie pen. So let's talk about drilling the holes. Surprisingly, the only thing you need is a 16th inch drill bit. That does fine. If you put out a big hole, it's gonna put out a lot more pressure, a lot of volume. You'll end up with a big puddle of water this does surprisingly well. If you've got a crop that needs more in one area, like you saw a few moments ago, then put a double or triple row or something there to give more water out of the same place. So when it comes time to drill these, you can just pick the point you're gonna drill. Uh, there's on the line right there, and it'll drill really easy, and boom, it is done. And then I would have marked these out in the distance, depending on the crop. 12 inches apart, four inches apart, three inches, whatever it is, and then mark those up and then write on them what they're for. And that way I can customize, it's very modular. There's one other cool thing you can do with this. Let's suppose you're doing a 30 foot run of these pipes. The first third of the run of the 10 foot could be one crop. Then you can change to another uh, pipe that's got something set up for wider spacing or narrower spacing. It's very mod modular, very interchangeable, very inexpensive. It's hard to go wrong. Well, would you like to see it in operation? I thought so. Let's take a look and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, we now turn on the system. And as you can see right here, this is a double system where it's uh, watering the onions in this furrow, puddling really nice. Uh, and it'll flood irrigate all this and just fill that up. And you can see it runs softly. It's very nice. Now, before we film this, I just went in and threw in one of my corn ones, a triple set, in one of these uh, areas on the manifold by pulling out the short plug, throwing in one here, and these are last year's. I haven't even had a chance to clean them out. So if there's a plugged one, I just use one of my 16th inch bits, go through and punch out the little plugs because you're gonna get dirt and grit in there from time to time, and you can clean those up. You can also rotate them, but as you can see, these are drooling water very nicely uh, right where so I would plant the corn off to this case the left right where that water is sitting and I can go down there and rotate that get that line really nice and straight 
And here's a really cool trick that Matt taught me. You simply turn off the water, let it set for a bit. Now the irrigation system itself is marked where you need to plant the seeds. You just put them right where the water mark is right there and it's gonna get water from then on. It's a great little system. Pretty cool, huh? Well, there you have it, a great do-it-yourself drip system. If you have a great idea like this you'd like to pass on to your fellow viewers, won't you post it in the comments below? And if we make an episode out of it, we'll make sure to give you credit for it. If you found the video to be helpful, won't you like it? And better yet, please subscribe to our channel. And when you do, ring the bell so you'll be immediately notified when a video goes up. Hey, thanks for watching this episode today. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com. Thank you.